everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another gift guide, but it is much more of a reasonable priced gift guide. It's not extremely budget tight. It's more free in prices. We've got like things from 30 pounds up to, it is a real mixed bag when it comes to prices. We've got a mixed bag of sections. I will section it all down below like I did with the last video. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is electrics. In particular, home and hair items. But nonetheless, electrics are really good gifts to give at Christmas. They're a little bit more pricier, but because of that, that's why a lot of people either ask for them or will happily receive many different items in the electrics department. So one of the most affordable, but still a little bit pricier than last week's video is the Alexas. This one is one of my favorite Alexas. So this one has the screen. It's, it literally can show you re recipes. It has the time. It shows you what song you're playing. It gives you the lyrics of what song you're playing. So I particularly like this one. This is my favorite Alexa. I do also have this style Alexa. I feel like this might have been like one of the original Alexas. I'm not too sure. I don't actually know all the individual names for every Alexa, but this one is really good. Again, they're really good if you like to play music, if you like to do recipes. These are really good for like kitchens and stuff like that. If you are someone who likes to bake or you just you know, if you like the news, this shows you the news. You can get loads of articles up. They are really, really good. And I just prefer it with this screen. Yeah, I do think Alexa's are one of the best gifts you can give at Christmas. It's the next item I want to show you, which comes in the speaker format and is a little bit more expensive. These are Sonos speakers. So if you know anyone who really likes their speaker equipment and they like to have like smaller speakers in their house, then these are really good. They are a little bit more pricey. This is actually an old one. There's so many more you can get now. These are not on the go speakers though. These are definitely for in the house, at the back of the living room, maybe in the kitchen, wherever. But they sync up to your phone. They can sync up to Alexa's. Like they're really, really good. They are a little bit pricier, but if you know someone who likes Sonos as a brand, they are always gonna be welcoming a gift like this because they are really good. They do do smaller ones, they do bigger ones. They're all in all a really good product. Another item that I really like, someone bought me and I bought other people them now is these. These are electrical rechargeable tea lights. I do have two currently out at the moment. These are one of the best gifts I ever got. I absolutely love this product. I actually think I might have mentioned it in a past video, but I always say it deserves a mention because if you know anyone who loves candles, honestly, these are so handy. For people around Christmas time who maybe love to have these sort of things out, you don't always have to use a tea light. You can just pop one of those in. And I always say, it's so much better. The amount of money at Christmas I end up spending on tea lights for ornaments like that is ridiculous. Whereas these do the exact same thing that you need it to. They're rechargeable and you put it back in at the end of the day. I just think they are one of the absolute best gifts ever. You can get them in pillar style. You can get them in tea light style. They're just really handy. I just think a fake one is a thousand times better. Don't get me wrong, I still burn my normal candles. But for things like ornaments or anything, then the rechargeable ones are the absolute best. The next item I've definitely mentioned in, a, I think I have a last year or the year before video, but I live and breathe this product. I recommend it to everyone. The amount of people who message me and go, what was that called that you said again? And it is called a water flosser. If you don't water floss, you should be. So the reason why I hone in so much on water flossing was I went to the dentist after COVID and I hadn't been since, I was due in the March of COVID. So I hadn't been for nine months and then was due in the March, that got canceled and never actually got to go again till July, 2021, because obviously they weren't taking any appointments. I didn't realize that the numbers they shout out when they're doing your teeth is your plaque level. So five means really bad and zero is obviously excellent. I wear a retainer every night and when I Googled it, it said that if you wear a retainer, your plaque is gonna be a lot higher because the spit's held inside the retainer, so on and so forth. I've had a water flosser now for about five years. I think it's five years. Yeah, four or five years. And I absolutely love it. My plaque level, when I went to the dentist in July, I had zeros all round, and it is all thanks to this. So this is the big one I've got, and I also have the travel one. So this is the travel one. 
I'll get into this one in a minute because you do need to know how to clean it because it can be difficult. But this one is detachable, so the way it works is that's the lid. And I'll show you what's in there in a minute. And then this bit comes off. So this is really kind of easy to clean. It plugs in. Honestly, it's the best thing ever. It's honestly one of the best things ever. This is what you call the family one. So what the top of this has as well, which is really good, is all your tools go in the top. So you get all different ones. Oh my God, if you know anyone who's got a brace, literally they need a water flosser because you can't use floss. You'd have to use them in um, brushes and then brushes kill my, my gums. They really hate. So for me, they were a no-go. But there's like brushing ones. There's like ones that go between the braces. There's individual ones. I've broke a few now because I've had it for a while. I do actually need to get some new ones. But if you buy this set, they tend to come with like special offers with inside the box. Now, as I said, I have the travel one as well, which I personally think getting the combo. My mum and dad actually picked this up for me from Costco, but you can get it. It'll look fantastic. So we'll leave all links as always down below. This one is great for if you are someone who likes to travel, maybe you're on the go all the time. The only issue with this is this isn't detachable. And if it is, it's this clasp at the bottom and I cannot get it out with my nails. I have tried. So the way in which I clean this is I use sterilizer that you'd use in a baby's bottle. I pour the sterilizer in there, pour the warm water in, give it a good shake, leave it to settle for about four hours. And then honestly, when you rinse it, the whole thing's spotless. So I definitely recommend the individual one. If you are a family, then I would probably go for this one because the heads are removable like a, a rechargeable toothbrush, which I always say, if you want to get the full set, then get the full set because I can't believe people use manual toothbrushes. If you can afford an electric toothbrush, get an electric toothbrush because it's just so much more cleaner. It's better for your teeth. In the long run, it's going to cost you less getting all this stuff than it is the dental work that you're going to get in years to come. So I'm like a big person on teeth and, and making sure they're nice and clean and stuff like that. So everyone, the amount of people who I speak to and I somehow managed to get these water flossers into the conversation <laughs> and they're like, what was that item you said? Where can I get it from? Which ones are good? But these ones are the Waterpick water flossers. So highly, highly, highly recommend water flossers. Don't buy for a gift, buy a gift for yourself because I hate floss now. I don't even touch floss. I just use a water flosser and I've got zero plaque on my teeth. Next up, I want to talk about heated rollers. So there is now a newer version of these, but these are the Babyless heated rollers. These are really, really good if you know someone who likes a roller. Some people like to use a tongue, some people like to use rollers, some people like to blow the hair. Everyone has a different preference. These are really good. If you have extra long hair like me, I have to buy, I had to buy two of these. <laughs> I had to buy two boxes, but it made it better because my mum also wanted a box. So we just bought the two. And then that was it. But if you have medium, normal to medium length hair, these will be perfect for you. There's all different sizes inside the box. They come with um, both metal clips and also clamps to go on the top. But honestly, these are really affordable, really good gift to give someone who you know likes to use heated rollers. Next in the hair electronics department is hair dryers. Now, everyone has a hair dryer preference. Me personally, nothing beats this brand and it is Parlux. So Parlux are what is tend to be used in a hair salon. I've had this one since I was 21, I'm 30 and it's still amazing. They are a pricier product, but they are a better hair dryer. My mum has gone through, I think three or four hair dryers in the same time I've gone through one and it's still working perfectly fine. I mean, I absolutely love this hair dryer. If you know anyone who's maybe starting out in hairdressing or maybe hairstyling or an addictive hair dryer person who blows their hair every week with roller brushes to go with it, then you need to get them a Parlux. There is nothing better in my opinion. So this next product, I have seen everyone talking about the new edition and most people are saying it is just slightly better, but the old one is really, really good. So this is an item I actually haven't used yet, but I want to mention it in the video because I've actually bought it for my mum. It is and the Revlon one step volumizer power of a dryer volume of a styler so i've been looking at this for my mum for ages i was eyeing up the dyson hair wrap and my mum is just one of them people who's just not going to appreciate a dyson hair wrap she won't understand the concept of why it's so expensive she'll just be like that's a bit ridiculous to spend that much on a hair dryer basically she just won't understand 400 
450 500 pounds so i thought what can i get it that i know is good so i had watched rave reviews on this product and then this black friday i noticed everyone talking about the new version they brought out so i thought well if the new versions come out what tends to happen is the old one goes into into the sale so the reason why i bought my mum the old one is because if i buy the old one and she loves it next christmas i'll get her the more up-to-date one and the better one and i will do a, an actual review on this because i'm interested to see how it is with my hair so i will definitely review in this in the new year last in the hairstyle and products is this this is the babylus deep waves waver I've had this for a while now and this is actually my most ever viewed YouTube video and it is me reviewing this in lockdown last year. Never ever thought in a million years it would get as many views as it actually got. But this styling tool is one of my absolute favourites. If you've watched my Molly May Beauty Works one, you'll know that I did not rave about that product. I don't rave about any of the Beauty Works hair styling tools in general, to be brutally honest with you. There isn't any that have stood out to me and I've thought, oh my God, that's really, really good. Not for the price tag that they charge. This works in my hair, you get a really deep wave. I feel like that is what makes it stay in longer. All in all, I highly recommend it. It's really affordable. It's a really good gift to give anyone who loves that beach wave. Kim Kardashian beach wave sort of look. They will love this style. And Last but not least in the electrics department, I want to talk about coffee machines. Coffee machines are one of the best Christmas gifts to give. I've actually got a Dolce Gusto machine, which I got one Christmas. Then the following Christmas, I got an espresso machine. And the reason why I got the Nespresso was because when I'm on a diet, I don't drink any of the Dolce Gusto coffees. I'm trying to be good and I'll try and not drink those sorts of pods because they're actually quite calorific sometimes. So I ended up picking up an espresso machine and then my dad went and got a DeLonghi machine. So there's actually three coffee machines in this house and only one really gets used now because I ended up using the DeLonghi one because it is a thousand times better than the Nespresso and the Dolce Gusto. Dolce Gusto's here, then you've got Nespresso and then you've got DeLonghi and then other brands that you can purchase. You know, you can get ones integrated into your cabinets and everything. But I do think if you know someone who likes coffee and they like their pods, then a coffee machine is a really, really so good investment. moving investor. on from electronics, let's talk about beauty. So beauty is a massive industry around the Christmas time. It's not actually that hard to find decent stuff in the beauty industry to give as a Christmas present, whether that be Christmas gifts or gift vouchers, whatever it is, there's always something for everyone. But a few items that I think are that are worthy of mentioning that I think you could give to anyone, not to mention they'd probably really thank you for it. So first up, I wanna talk about Olaplex. So I purchased my mum the Olaplex system. This one, just to show you, is the number three product. This is the one most people seem to rave about. So this one is the used before shampooing, but not as a conditioner, it's a bond builder. So this is why this one is supposed the really really good product to have at home and yes it is expensive yes a little does go a long way you've got to be clever in how you're using it don't be using too much another product that you could pay to someone is this this is the Vichy Aqualia treatment night mask this is really really nice on the skin it's really lightweight if you know someone who's not the best at putting skincare on then sometimes a night mask might just be a little bit easier for them but this is really really nice it's not expensive and it's not cheap it's not like daylight robbery when some skincare routines can be absolute daylight robbery so that one's really good another one that's actually really affordable is the Willita skin food a lot of people love it I'm probably giving them this one now that I've got used to it I've used it a few times since I last reviewed it I would probably give this an 8 out of 10 Every now and again, it does sting around my eyes, but I do suffer really bad with dry skin around my eyes. So I personally think that's just me. That's, I don't think that's anyone else. But I do think this is a really good gift. It's affordable, it's a good size. You don't need that much. A little does really go a long way. My mum is absolutely obsessed with this now. She loves it. I've actually bought my dad one as well because he suffers with um, psoriasis and everything on his face and he just can't get a cream at all and his skin is so sore. So we've been, I've bought him one of these just to see how he gets on because he liked using my mum's. So I'm gonna, I've bought him this one because he's struggling with his face at the moment. So definitely recommend the Willie to Skin Food. Then makeup wise, there's probably two brands I'm gonna mention for eyeshadows. So first up, I wanna mention Natasha Denona. So these are the mini sunset palettes. These are probably the most affordable in the Natasha Denona eyeshadow range. They are really, really nice, so pigmented, 
such a nice eyeshadow palette and honestly if you know someone on the go this is the sort of palette they need i love the fact that these palettes are clear in the top you can see all the colors you're reaching for it just makes it a lot easier but i love these eyeshadows i think they're really really good they're so creamy they're so pigmented they just are such good quality such such good quality eyeshadows but they are not cheap they are not cheap so if you want to purchase someone this for christmas who loves makeup who maybe likes their more higher end brands or maybe someone who's just started in makeup and maybe they're using more cheaper products at the moment and you want to treat them to a really nice eyeshadow palette these are the sort of eyeshadows you want to get they're the sort of makeup artists that they probably look up to so getting them something like this they'd probably be absolutely over the moon. You can get other eyeshadow palettes, which I will link down below, but they are a lot more expensive. You're talking 99, 100 pounds. Natasha Denona and the likes of like Pat McGrath and that do not mess about when it comes to the price of their products. Like they're not cheap. I'm going to be brutally honest. With that being said, for double the price of that mini eyeshadow palette, this one is my favorite of the year. This is the Be Perfect Stace Marie Carnival 4 palette. The antidote palette this eyeshadow palette is currently all i've been using i absolutely love it it is stunning the colors in it are gorgeous the shimmers are gorgeous everything about it is absolutely stunning and if you know anyone who loves an autumnal scheme when it comes to their makeup an autumnal mood board an autumnal eyeshadow whatever it is this is the type of palette they're gonna love and this retails at 40 quid so last but not least in the beauty section and something that's a little bit more pricier something that a lot of people just hate buying, I in particular hate buying because <sighs> I'd rather buy makeup. But makeup brushes. If you know anyone who's starting out in the world of makeup, you need to get them makeup brushes because these are probably the most expensive thing that they're gonna purchase. Yes, the foundations are expensive. Yes, the eyeshadows are expensive, but these just seem to hit differently when you're buying them. So I like an array of brands when it comes to my makeup brushes. My top ones will probably be Zoeva, Crown, MAC and Morphe. And I know Morphe is controversial, but I've never had an issue with them. I'm not gonna lie. I've never had them flake. I've never had them fall apart. Like some people say, mine have always been really, really good brushes. So for the Morphe ones that I would say I use a lot, it's these brushes. These are the M562 brush. These are really good if you know somebody who likes to do a really colorful but layered look. Then you've also got the Zoeva ones, which you'll know I use all the time. I, in particular, love, I'm just going to read them out, the 231 two, and, what's that one called again? The 227, as well as the 221. So 221, 231 and 227 are probably my favourite Zoeva brushes. In the fluffy brush, but in the eyeliner, I absolutely love the 315 fine liner and the 317 wing liner brush these two are really 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 good then i also love the smudger brushes from morphe they're the m408 brushes and then there's mac brushes i really really like which i have absolutely loads of i will link a few that are my absolute favorites down below and crown do a lot of good brushes like they're basically where brushes seem to get made, I'm adamant a lot of brushes get made at Crown and then are sold at other places. Like I'm determined that that is what happens. But Crown do amazing ones. I'm not gonna name the ones I have because they don't have a single number to their name because they're that old. But I will link some The next down section below. I wanna talk about is clothing. So clothing around this time of year, I tend to think is pajamas and comfies. If you have a George near your house, these pants, are amazing so they're just comfy pants they're not the longest so if you're tall i actually these don't actually fit me properly in the leg but if you're probably like five five seven or lower these will fit you perfectly if you know anyone who likes to walk around the house in like a loungewear not a pajama this sort of trouser is perfect for them they came in black they came in gray i think burgundy and white so these are so good and they're 12 pounds i purchased them in gray and black and honestly they're so comfortable so definitely recommend something like Lean this on from comfy lounge pajamas are obviously something that everyone likes to purchase at christmas i just think they're a really nice gift really easy gift i love affordable pajamas i'm not gonna lie i'm not someone who's gonna go spend 50 60 pounds on a pair of pajamas i just don't see the point but primark have some lovely sets in this year so these are their tartan ones these are 12 pounds i got the large which was the 
14 to 16 i actually bought these for myself but i just thought they were really nice already wrapped 12 quid dead soft and my primark ones always wash really well so i love them but i just thought these were a gorgeous little gift it tells you on the back what you've got and yeah so cute for christmas eve absolutely love them so then there's also the likes of these that you can get these are the soft touch ones nice and nice and soft these are more of like a jogger style, so like a, a tracksuit style. These are, are £10 and they're dead, dead soft and wash really, really, really well. And then another place you can get some good pyjamas from is the Home and Bargain. They do really good sets and these are 10 quid as well. The £10, you can't go wrong. Again, they have on the back what type of style set they are. But I just think affordable pyjamas, that's like £32 worth of pyjamas. They're gonna last, they're gonna wash well. And I just think a 50 pound for like one set of pajamas is not necessary. But if you know anyone who's in dire straits of new pajamas, you can get them all from like the likes of Primark, Home and Bargain, b and Now I know men's pajamas are a little bit different. My dad doesn't really like pajamas. None of the men in my family really wear pajama sets. They're just not that way inclined. They'd rather wear like a t-shirt, wear tracky bottoms. But I just think it's wrong to not have a nice pair of pajamas at Christmas, maybe Christmas Eve, Christmas day, something nice just to put on for in the morning. So I had to pick these up for my dad. These were 11 pound from Primark. I weren't spending a lot of money on them. I thought they were really nicely, like gifted they're not that expensive 11 pounds they're like a dark tartan typical manly style sort of loungewear pajama set but i just thought for the christmas time i just think it's right to have a brand new pair of pajamas even so if the next section i want to talk about is fragrance let's face it, it's one of the biggest industries at christmas all the adverts come out it's just one of the biggest products to purchase at christmas time and some of my favorites this year that i feel i need to talk about are there's three women's and one men's so first up i want to talk about this this is the in love with you emporio armani eau de parfum they have four versions of this perfume so there's this one there is then i think it's stronger than you stronger with you, stronger with you which is an, an eau de toilette strong with you intensely an eau de parfum and because it's you which is also an eau de parfum but for me this one is my favorite it's very it's fruity but it's also quite musty at the same breath it's got jasmine patchouli cherry it's just an all-round really really nice perfume when i say it's fruity it's not like summer fruits that's why i like this perfume especially this time of year it's more of a winter fruity scent but it is a really really nice perfume and really really affordable another one i absolutely love this year that loads of people have complimented me on if i wear this perfume everyone says oh my god that's gorgeous what are you wearing what are you wearing and it is the Azara Wanted Girl. This perfume is stunning. Let's talk about the packaging firstly. So you press that down and it's the packaging is just so pretty. It's relatively affordable, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And I genuinely think what takes this perfume to the next level is Dulce Leche. So there's loads to it. There's like ginger flower, ginger. There's Dulce Leche, Tonka Bean, Vanilla, Orange Blossom, Pomegranate. It's just an all round really nice perfume, but I genuinely think the Dulce de Leche takes it to the next level. And I think it's that that gives it that gorgeous, sweet, but seductive, sensual, gorgeous scent. It's absolutely stunning and highly recommend it if you're looking for perfume for someone this Christmas. Let's talk about a male fragrance now. So we're gonna talk about a Chanel. So I know all the Chanel's are a lot more I think any Chanel perfume tends to be, if you like it, you like it, but other people will not like it. For example, I like the original Coco. Not everyone likes that. Some people like Mademoiselle, not everyone likes that. Same with number five, Chance, so on and so forth. And the same goes with the male aftershaves. One that I think is really nice is this one. It's the Chanel Antaios for men. It's actually one of the more audible bottles from Chanel. It's very leathery, very woody, very warm aromatic style aftershave but i just think it's a really 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 nice one probably one of the more affordable chanel's because it is an eau de toilette so it's a little bit more on the budget side when it comes to chanel aftershave but i just think it's a really really nice aftershave to pick if you're looking for something new for someone who maybe likes that more woody musky leathery aftershave 
definitely down that route for you. The fragrance I want to talk about is more of the house of fragrances that you can purchase from them. So my favourite brand when it comes to house of perfume is the Narciso Rodriguez. So this is the EDT. I prefer the EDT to the pink bottle, which is the Eau de Parfum. This one is just so much nicer, but they also do other ones. They have this, which is the Powdre perfume. And then there is also this one that I like, which is Rouge, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then I have just recently bought the Noir Musk, but I only have it in a 30 ml bottle just, just to try. But these perfumes are stunning. Every single one of them is gorgeous in its own way. The Powdre and the Rouge are similar, but they're not. So this is a lot more powdery. Imagine adult baby powder. Imagine that luxurious. Imagine baby powder, but made for adults. That is literally what this is. It is stunning. It's a spring summer perfume. It's obviously it's an all year round perfume if you want to wear it all year round. But it reminds me of like a, a spring wedding, a summer wedding. It's absolutely gorgeous and I feel in the summer this seems to just be more emphasized it doesn't shine as bright as it should in the winter but then you've got the rouge which I feel is a lot nicer in the winter it seems to go on the skin better it stays on a little bit better whereas in the summer I don't feel like this is very summery scented but oh my god it's so 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 nice it's like the more muskier version of the powdery they are similar in a way, but they're just not. And then my favourite one of all time would have to be the Black Bottle. It is the best one. The Noir Musk is lovely, but nowhere near as close as the other three for me. There is absolutely loads of Narciso Rodriguez and they all come in the exact same style bottles, just in different colours, depending on which one you're purchasing. But this one for me is the best. Okay, so the last section. So we're into the last section and this one is more like home and gifts that complement maybe something I've said previous or just stuff that can't really come into a section because I don't really know what to call it because it might just be a one-off item. But the first thing I want to talk about is this. So I know it looks like a cardboard box, but it's something I've bought my dad for Christmas and I'm going to show you exactly what it is. It is a tabletop fire pit. So this is what it's going to look like when it's all set up and I've just nearly dropped it, but that's what it's gonna look like. I got the idea from Jacqueline Hill's holiday gift guide. She actually shows this one, which I was gonna buy, but then I seen that one and just thought, no, actually I prefer the other one, just because the table shape we have outside is square. And I just think this one will fit in a lot better. I'm actually gonna put a s'mores kit together. I've already went and got it today. I'm gonna put that together and team it with this. So it's like an all rounded out gift. But I just thought that that was such a good idea. It's really good for anyone who likes sitting in the garden. Maybe they just like to sit there, you know, have a cup of coffee or anything. It doesn't take much to light and it doesn't take much to turn it out. So I just thought it was a really good gift and really, really affordable. Then I want to talk about coffee cups, but good coffee cups. So these are ones that my dad absolutely loves. They're actually, I've actually bought these for him. These are the Judge set of two double walled latte glasses. So he has the ones at the moment with no handle on. And these ones have little handles on. So they're much more easier to hold. But these, he, he absolutely loves them. I don't understand the difference between this and a mug. In all honesty, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm a coffee mug connoisseur. But he absolutely loves this style glass. So they were they were relatively quite expensive for two mugs where I would go and buy like a Disney mug for like £4. He would have to obviously have the glass ones. But I'm actually doing like a little coffee kit for them. So I've got him these. I've got him um, Christmas. When he makes a cappuccino, he always says, oh, I need chocolate to go on the top. So I've bought him the moulds from Sheen to put on the top with the shaker that you've sprinkled the chocolate on. I'm going to get, I've got him some um, gold spoons to go with the two mugs so they can go in. They're really nice. And then I'm just going to buy him some really good coffee. So there is like a, you can round out the gift really well without buying the coffee machine because he's already got the coffee machine it was pointless me obviously buying him another one so i just bought some stuff that would go with it so i'm just putting these on the floor before i knock everything over because i'm a bit dim like that the next one is gonna probably make some people think what the hell is she showing me and why it's a magnifying glass so my dad i think has got bifocals i think that's what they're called and he can't see for crap. He will not get used to them. He just he just doesn't like them. I don't know what's up with them. He just doesn't doesn't like them. But recently, my nan called me and she was like, I love, I've got this spices here to make these or whatever she was making. 
And she was like, I can't see any of the labels. I went, have you got your glasses on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see the labels. Don't know what, what date's on them. So I ended up having to go around. She only lives around the corner. So I was like, yeah, I'll come around and I'll come read which ones are in date. So we go around. None of them were in date. So I thought, why not get her a magnifying glass for Christmas? So this one has a light. So you shine it, you go down and you can read every, and like it's, it's not, it's so, 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 so good. But I just thought for anyone who's got an older person in the family, maybe their eyesight's going just a little bit. And the glasses, I'm not gonna lie, the labeling, labeling on spices is even hard for me to read and I've got very good eyesight. So it baffles me that that's the way in which they put it on. So there's no chance someone who's 87, she's 87 today for Christ's sake, she's never gonna be able to read the label of that. So I'm definitely, this is my dad's, but I'm going to buy her another one for Christmas. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to throw it in this video. Because if you know anyone who's older, and you do struggle with the older ones, because it's like slippers, pyjamas, and with mine, I'm having so many grandkids, people get in there easy. Like, you've got to get in there quick. I think I said it in my last video. If you don't get in there quick, you are going to struggle to find her Christmas presents, because she literally will have 17 pairs of pyjamas, 22 pairs of slippers, like... Just ridiculous. This was actually my dad, so I'm gonna buy me nan one of these for Christmas because I just thought it actually makes sense and she'll be able to actually use it and it won't be something that will just sit there and not be used. Next up, I'm gonna talk about this. So this is something I've got me mum and this is from The Home and Bargain. This was 9 99 and it is their bamboo, she's downstairs so I'm gonna whisper it, bamboo tree cake stands. And the reason is we host Christmas so I just thought this would be really, really nice for her to lay stuff out. She likes this sort of stuff for Christmas. She likes like Christmas decorations and like just home appliances when it comes to Christmas. That's like my, my mum's perfect gift. So I've bought her that. It was only 9 99 so it was dirt cheap. But I just thought it was really, really nice. And then also you could spray the stand. So maybe if you have a gold living, a gold kitchen or a silver, maybe you have gold accessories or silver accents, whatever it is, you could always spray the stand, which I thought would make it look really, really really pretty so yeah i've bought that as well i thought that was a really nice present and then i think this is the last one is this the last one yeah it is so this is also from the home bargain and it is the glass tree jar now this same tree jar to get from um home scents and the likes of tk max or i oh, know there isn't there's one more after this sorry um this same jar is like 34 to 44 pounds so it's not cheap this was the most affordable one i've seen you can use it for absolutely all sorts so definitely think for i think 7.99 this is definitely a good purchase if you know anyone who'd like stuff like that last but not least this so this is from tk max and it is a massive candle holder it is made in india it's a stag it was 12.99 and i actually got this ages ago but they've still got loads in store these are really really nice they look a lot more expensive i don't know if the, what the rrp is on them i don't think it has one it must just be 12.99 but home and bargain have just got their stag range and they've got like champagne buckets and bowls and everything silver ones that you could get to match these i think the champagne bucket was 7 7.99 and it looks really, really close to this. This looks a little bit more expensive, but the ones in Home and Morgan are definitely worth it. So I just thought that was really nice as well. And it just, you don't have to use it for the candle. You could use it for a sweet holder. You could use it maybe if you have a bathroom, maybe you put cotton wool and cotton buds in and stuff like that. It could be used whatever you want to make it. You could have it with coffee pods in. You could have it with candy canes in. Whatever it is, you could make it presentable whichever way you want. But I just thought that was a really nice gift. And that's it. That's the end of this video, guys. I hope you like it. I hope I've helped if you were struggling to find any mid i'd say reasonable price gifts that's what i'd say this video is really called it's a reasonable priced gift video obviously the electronics were obviously a little bit more expensive but most of the other stuff was it under 100 pounds so definitely hope definitely hope i've helped so i hope i've helped everyone if you were struggling to find any presents thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye